What's happening everyone? Danny Mick is back here and for this one I'm going to react to a little bit of comedy. Let's go. Alright everyone, I'm going to try something totally different here. I don't know how the copyrights are going to be on for this. I hope that this isn't just me talking to a screen. But for this one, I want to do a little comedy. I want to react to some comedy. Uh, there's a gentleman by the name of Sebastian Maniscalco. Scalco? I don't know, I can't even pronounce his name. He's an Italian uh, comedian, it looks like. And I'm a big fan of the, of the food chain Chipotle. And so I'm going to be reacting to a little short skit that he did. I don't know what he's saying. My son's talking in the background. But anyways, I'm going to be reacting to... Uh, it's a Chipotle skit that he did. It's called, Aren't You Embarrassed? All right, y'all ready? Let's get into it. Let's go. I'm getting there. I want the Chipotle. Okay, here we go. Love Chipotle. They make a really... Let me just back it up I for a second. I Chipotle a couple weeks ago. Love Chipotle. They make a really nice burrito over there. It's Chipotle or Chipotle? I don't know. <laughs> it's so terrific that the, the employees can't stop eating it. The employees are never working. They're always in the dining room eating. Ever walk in there? Oh, the hands. Already with the hands with the Italian, you know? In the dining room, eh? Like, where are the workers? The only guy behind there is the guy cutting chicken, just looking at you. <laughs> right? He's not trained on burrito building. Oh shit. And I'm watching the people order. I mean, there's a sneeze glass. And that's actually kind of funny because there is a guy at Chipotle. He just sits there and he's, he's, he's got all this chicken on. He's just jamming away in the chicken, just cutting it. There, so. Right? But people always hook the arm over the glass. I'll have corn. I'll have more corn. Just say corn. <laughs> it's not soundproof. It goes right over the glass. Oh Get shit. Your claw. Out of the salsa. You better step back, little girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what up? And nobody talks to the Chipotle people. There's no conversation that happens. They listen to the same shit eight hours I a day. Right? Uh -huh. Stick. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you see the way he just hopped over there? Hold on a second, I gotta get my kid on here. Here, buddy. Sorry, sorry about this. I gotta do a little daddy duties here while I'm on, I'm on the air. Hey, buddy, get up here. No, no, get up here. Climb on up there. Hold on, hold on a second. I gotta see where I was with this. Because he was hopping around like crazy man. The same shit eight hours a day, right? Stick! Beans! <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. It's like you're not even... It's like a robot. Chicken. Peppers. Lettuce. And the employee... <laughs> this fucking guy, man. <laughs> Oh, they long. Oh, man. And God forbid if you ask for guacamole. Oh, my God. What is that, Groundhog Day? You just the same shit over and over. The whole store goes into a panic attack. What did he just say? They Hold don't on. even know how to only. Oh, my God. And God forbid if you ask for guacamole. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> the whole store goes into a panic attack. <laughs> they don't even know how to tell you it's extra money, right? What? They're like, put some guac on that. Ah. Uh, <laughs> it's a dollar eighty extra. Is that, a, is that okay? Yeah. 
<laughs> this guy's facial expression. Facial expressions are priceless. Amazing. Most stressful job at Chipotle has to be wrapping these damn things, right? By the time the rapper <laughs> gets it, his employees have populated the burrito with so much ingredients, the guy can't even find the tortilla. <laughs> the tortilla! <laughs> he starts sweating, he's like, how am I gonna wrap this damn thing? Right? It's a workout, he's gotta get down, gotta use some quads, little core, start talking. And full. And full. Holy shit. It took me 23 minutes to get a burrito out of this place. <laughs> I felt at the end of this, Chipotle owed me something. <laughs> so I asked for a water, I filled it up with Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. At least they could do 23 minutes in line. I go to the Coca-Cola machine and I stare at him while I fill it. <laughs> you see his face? I gotta put that back. Coca-Cola in the see-through. Oh my God, this dude is out of control. At least I could do 23 minutes in line. <laughs> I go to the Coca-Cola machine and I stare at him while I fill it. <laughs> Coca-Cola in the see-through oh, glass. What shit. are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> Oh man. Oh my god. Holy shit, that dude is a trip. That dude is a trip right there. I seen a, I seen a skit he did a long time ago and I can't even remember what it was it was remember what it was. It was uh, I was on Facebook and I was just scrolling through and there was a there was a skit that he did. But this guy right here, Sebastian, this guy man, his facial expressions his body language i mean i mean i love the italian accent or just you know that's part of his character i'm sure or at least part of the part of the gig is how he talks but he is great he's great i don't even know if how how much he tours or goes around but this is one of the, one of the comedians i definitely definitely would love to go pay to go see so if he ever comes to new york or whatever if anyone knows anything about this guy and how how much he Trails. I mean, I'm sure I can just go on his website and just click on his. Uh, maybe he probably does that. He's probably on tour all the time. That's his job. He's the comedian. So, um, yes. Yeah, so what do you guys think of that, that uh, skit right there? I thought that was great because I'm a final fan of Chipotle. So he, he's pretty accurate though, because it is kind of like a like a steak and then the peppers and then the cheese and then you go down the line. You know, it's one of those those tortilla uh, bars or whatever you want to call them, the taco bars or whatever. And, um, yeah, that was good. That was good, man. That was freaking awesome. He's rocking. That dude's great. I gotta get more of his skits in. Um, I had one, something. Uh, there was there was another one that I, I clicked on that I stored in my my YouTube library that I'm gonna take on at some point. But anyways, man, I hope I'll, I hope y'all enjoy my reaction. This is something totally different. Doing a little bit of comedy. I wanna I wanna branch out and expand my channel a little bit and try something new. So I hope you liked it. Um, just let me know if there's any really awesome uh, short skit com uh, comedies. Uh, comedy videos on YouTube that you want me to check out and react to, uh, leave them down in the comment section. But uh, otherwise, uh, hit the like button, uh, subscribe to my channel, and uh, hit the notification bell. And that way you'll know when I'm uploading new content. So uh, otherwise, I uh, hope you all having a good day or a good night. And I'll be catching everyone soon enough on my next reaction. Peace.